Welcome to Help Notes for a New Arabic Grammar by Nahmad al Nahiwood, exercise number 2, question number 12. The sea is beautiful. We're going to first identify the structures in this sentence. And as you can see, there is an is, so there is a part before the is and after the is, and A is B sentence, i.e., al Jumla al Ismiya. So the part before the is is this group of words, which we can bracket off and say that's a single word in Arabic and a single word after the is beautiful. Um, the C, we're going to Arabize the structure now, so get rid of the is between the two A and B components. The C will remain the same. Beautiful is a noun. It has to have an A or a the before it. We're going to put an A because it's the khabar or the predicate of an A is B sentence. It's the B and Bs are always nakira or indefinite. They take A's, not the's. Let's translate the words the sea, al-bahru, a beautiful jamilun. So, uh, al-bahr is male, so jamil will also be male. So, carrying on, we get, if we write these words in the right order, al-bahru jamilun, the sea is beautiful. An old chair. Again, we're going to analyze this. We're hunting for an is. There's no is because this is not a sentence. The word groups, we can group together chair and old. So what we have is a noun which is being described by a word old. So we're going to underline the word that's being described and then we're going to Arabize it. When you have a group of words where you have a word and then followed by something which describes that word, this is the uh, mawsuf and sifa. We first put the mawsuf, the described word in Arabic. They always come first. Chair and the describing word and old will come at the end. Chair is indefinite, so we have to put an A, though we don't have an A in Arabic. And old is indefinite. In English, we use an because old begins with a vowel, O. So now we have the described word, a describing word, the described word is indefinite. That is why the describing word is indefinite. So we're going to translate that. A chair kursiyun, an old qadimun, and then we look at the gender, the D in mind, and we see that kursi is male, so therefore we're going to leave qadim, which is also male. So we'll write it in the right order. We get kursiyun qadimun, an old chair. Nice T. Let's analyze the structures. There is no A is B. There's no is. So we're not dealing with a sentence. We have a group of words where one word is describing another word. So it's an adjective noun group. The word that's being described is T and the word that's describing it is nice. So let's underline the T and let's try and Arabize it. So we always put the word that's described, al mosuf at the beginning, A, T. And we put the describing words after it, nice, and we have to add an er because we know the T, nice T in English means it's indefinite. You're not talking about any particular T. So you make it A, T, and of course if T is indefinite, the describing words have to be indefinite, so we put an A. A, T, A, nice. And then we Arabize it further by making the words Arabic. A, T is shayun, and A, nice is hasanun. Shai is male, so Hassan will also be male, and then we write it in the correct order. Shayun Hassanun, nice T. And that's the end of this short lesson, and you can go on to the next one. Jazakallahu khairan wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.